What's up everyone, this is iTech63 here once again and this is a basic overview and review of Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay, so of course I am running on Windows 7 Ultimate. I did have it installed quite a while ago, it's just I've never got down to actually use it, using it. So, um, so yeah, I'm pretty experienced. I had this version since the beta version. Um, so yes I can be pretty experienced um, so the first thing you notice with the new updates on Windows 7 is of course the taskbar it's much wide, well not much wider but it's a bit bigger than the Windows 7 and Windows X no Windows Vista and Windows XP taskbar and it's also more transparent the other thing you may notice is the change in icons so if I just click on here um, like if you click down on my internet, um, you will not have to can, um, go through another separate page to connect to another internet. You also have another great f um, feature is the show, and show hi hidden icons, which you never had in Windows 7. Um, as you can see, these are all the icons that are actually in use at the moment. On Windows Vista, they used to just lie there and hide away if you press the avo button well windows 7 and microsoft corporation really decided to keep a f quite a few things relatively the same such as the cursors um, the theme is quite the same and um, the actual start menu is mm, what as you can see already it is not really any different to the windows vista it's extremely different to Windows XP, of course, as Windows XP was ages ago. Um, another great f um, feature of Windows 7 is the actual... Um, if I open up my Camtasia Studio and I drag this to the left-hand side, it will create a box, and if I let go, it snaps into place. And if I open up my video HD folder, drag it over here it snaps into that side and if you drag it to the top it just expands to full screen so that is a very good feature of Windows 7 uh, another good idea what they thought of was if you open up multiple multiple pages such as two Google Chrome's as you notice these are pinned to my taskbar and as you notice there are two open and here as you can see there's my Google Chrome and there's another little tab up behind it if I hover over this the two pages will appear and if you hover onto one of them pages you can preview that actual page to um, close it you can just hover over that page you want to close and just come up to the X bar uh, X button um, so that's pretty cool. Um, another thing I've noticed is it is much faster at connecting to your internet than Windows Vista. Uh, that is another reason for the or um, the faster um, open application kind of thing. So you can open it much quicker, and it's also much faster in um, general. To be honest, it's. The taskbar opens up much quicker. I remember on Windows Vista, I had to go into quite a few details um, to actually make my taskbar open up faster. On Windows 7, you don't have to do this. Um, well, this, I, to be honest, I don't know what's the difference between the Windows 7 Ultimate and the other packages. Like I told you, I've had this one f since the beta version, and um, really I've tried out the other pa packs, and I can't really tell what is actually different between it. I know there is a few features that you only get with Windows 7 Ultimate, and but that's okay because um, if you want to download Windows 7 Ultimate, you can, of course, just email me and I will send you the link 
or you can email me at itech 63 at live.com or just email me through my YouTube channel and I will ha be happy to send you the link to the free Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, if I right click on my computer I'll just show you and go to properties I will just show you that this is fully unlocked as you can see. Um, it's not even got the registration key down here anymore and that is very cool so um oh yes also the theme is quite a lot um quite the same as the past theme as you can see the windows vista and windows 7 um themes are relatively the same it's the icons are the same um another thing oh yes i wanted to show you on the desktop if you right click and go to gadget or I'll personalize first of all it is much faster at changing the themes and other parts as you can see it has the noise and as you can see that was much quicker than the um, previous theme that the previous Windows 7 um, previous Windows Vista on me that it's much faster than that so that's also very good and the actual right click um, menu itself is much easier to navigate and if I go to screen resolution instead of going to control panel as you can see it has my actual display at um, the what's it called the brand of my actual monitor it's got, it's got the orientation so I can have it flip and things like that as you couldn't do that on Windows 7 um, so I think that could be about it to be honest oh yes this is the window this is the Windows Paint as you can see this is much different to Windows Vista Paint and it is um, much easier to use and it has much more fe um, functions in it as you can see there's more shapes there is more you can rotate it rotate your shape the only thing I've n I don't know how to do is to actually select it with the cursor tool um, so so you can um, email me I get like I said just now email me at itex 63 at live.com or um, p p um, post a comment on this video or send an email through my YouTube channel and I will be happy more than happy to send you a free copy of Windows 7 ok well this was iTech 63 and until till the next tutorial I will see you then